What's up guys? So uh, today, today's kind of like Christmas for me. Today I am heading out on my first road trip since lockdown began. I'm heading up to a place called Phillip Island where they have one of the best race tracks in Australia and I'm going to be driving the AMG GTR Pro. This is the creme de la creme of Mercedes cars. There's only 15 of these being delivered to Australia. There's only 750 of them made in the entire world. Let's hit the road. I'm excited to get to the track. So we just got to Phillip Island. The initial plan was we we're gonna be tracking this GTR Pro for about an hour, but it's pouring rain. This is a twin turbo V8 rear wheel drive car with 430 kilowatts. It's light, it's incredibly powerful, and it's running dry weather tires at the moment. So they're telling me that we can't really go out and safely give it to her at the moment. Fortunately, I'm coming back again tomorrow. It's gonna to be dry, so I'm gonna be able to get to track it properly. But today we're just gonna get out, get used to the track a little bit and baby it and just, just enjoy driving it for now. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys this car because it is absolutely beautiful. As I said, there's only 15 of these being delivered to Australia, 750 in the world. So it is such a special car to not only see in person, but get to get inside. Behind me over here, we have the regular AMG GTR, which I am just absolutely obsessed with this matte blue finish with the shiny black accents. I would be excited driving this one here, but over here we have the GTR Pro, got carbon fiber all over it, carbon fiber wing, carbon fiber diffuser, You've got the special GTR Pro badge over here. You've got the vents up the front, which makes it more aerodynamic and obviously cools the engine as well. These really cool carbon fiber canards at the front. Let's just jump inside. It is so luxurious without being pretentious, if that even makes sense. Some supercars, you get into them and they feel like a really raw, race car other supercars they just feel ridiculously pretentious and you almost don't feel like you're in a race car i feel like this has a really good balance between luxury and race car you've got the bucket seats that are surprisingly comfortable you could literally drive on the freeway and sit in traffic relatively happy I say relatively because you drive a car like this, you're gonna to wanna to go fast. You have this traction control knob over here, which is quite big. It's designed so that if you're wearing racing gloves, you can play around with it while you're actually racing. So you can go all the way to traction control on, which on a day like this in the wet, I would definitely think is a good idea. All the way to traction control off, or you've got nine settings in between, so you can play around with it and figure out what's best for your particular driving style. I was freaking out when yeah. your car was right in front of me and you're telling me to come closer and I'm thinking if I break yeah. at the slightest, slightest <laughs> wrong moment, I could hit you. Yeah. No, you seem very confident. Oh, you could, uh, there's a lot of space in front. So, a bit closer. So, <laughs> are you just fearless or you just think I'm that great a driver that you I were just like, nah, you, he's, he's all right. I trust your driving. Pouring 
rain again, but it kind of works in my favor for this next activity. We're about to take this AMG A45S out on the skid pan and I'm gonna try and drift it. So ridiculously easy to drift. Oh my goodness. I feel like my mum could drift this car. She doesn't even have a license. That was so much fun. <laughs> Is there still rubber on the tires? <laughs> so something I totally forgot to tell you guys about because I was just, I was having way too much fun getting that car sideways is the brand new A45S actually has an intelligent drift mode built into it. This is a four cylinder twin turbo all wheel drive car. And traditionally when you think of all wheel drive cars, you don't really think drift car, but what this drift mode that you can activate does is it essentially puts most of the power to the rear wheels and makes it really easy to get on its side. Also, I just have to say this was done under control conditions on a skid pan at a racetrack. The next day I went to what was called the AMG Driving Academy and was able to test out quite a few of the brand new AMG cars. I'm not gonna show them all on the video, but I got to test quite a few both on the road and on the track with professional race car drivers. It was so much fun. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's just go check that out. So this is my first car for the day. This is the AMG GLS 63. This is a V8 turbo. It's quite similar to the GLE that I had coming up here it looks but it's a lot beefier a lot more luxurious just look at this feature I absolutely love this so in the drink holder it has a temperature button so let's say I want to keep my drink cool I hit that it's gonna keep it nice and cool let's say I had a coffee hit that it's gonna warm it up I actually wish I hadn't experienced this because this is one of those little luxuries that once you experience it you're gonna come to want it in every other car that you drive in. And none of my cars have this. So this car does a zero to 100 in 4.2 seconds. It's 450 kilowatts V8 turbocharged engine um, we're on a country road right now 100 kilometer limit let's let's see how that goes different it handles completely different and it's so much more grunt I feel like if I was to spend my hard-earned money on just one of these cars that I drove over the course of these two days, it would be the A45S. It ticked all the boxes for me. It looks great. It's practical. You can get around town in it. It's got room for baby seats. You can put groceries in the back. It's fast. 
and um, drift mode. It has drift mode. So this is A45S that I'm about to jump into. It's the same car that I was just drifting before. I'm about to take it out on the track and see what this thing can do. It's good. Want to get nice and close to this next one, right on top okay, of it. There we That's go. It. There we go. Now drive to the corner. And then over to the left. Right on this one. Brake a little. Off the brake. Just follow that white line all the way over. A little bit of power, that's it. There we go, that's good. It was quite an interesting experience driving the A45 on the track after sliding it for two days. I kept anticipating it to slide out from under me just because of how easily it would slide on the skid pan in drift mode, but obviously I was driving it in all wheel drive mode and it was super sticky around the corners. It was a great, car on the track. Next up, we're gonna be driving the CLA 45. Once again, this is an AMG as well. Let's see how this compares to the A45S. A45 was a lot quicker than I was expecting it to be. Brakes hard as we come down into Honda. Look for your apex coat, turn that there wheel, is, lovely. Is, is. Good job. Oh. Back on the power, good, out wide. In the Siberia, we want to stay out, don't turn in early. Hold it there, and look for your apex, turn, oh, go. the apex, here we go, here we go, here we go. Full power, go on, give it everything, up wide. Lovely, nice, good speed now. Cross, we come up to hay shed, nice. Turn it, turn the wheel, turn the wheel, keep your vision off the road, back on the power, go, go, go. And then, bit of brake. They're going to let us go around the outside of them. So go on, okay, off we yep, go. Yep, yep. That's it. Go for it. Commit. Let's do it. Around the outside. All right. Down into MG. Hard on the brakes. Downhill. Nice. Look for your apex. Very good. Squeeze the power on. Lovely. Keep it in tight. Give it everything. Go on. Use all the track. Go. honest with you guys I was a little bit nervous and intimidated driving the GTR Pro it was just such a rare and expensive car that by the time I got to the track with it I was intimidated if I could ever get a chance to drive it again I think I would push it a little bit harder if Mercedes hear me saying that, they'll probably never give me another chance with it. So M Mercedes, forget you heard me say that. <laughs> but it was such 
an amazing car to drive. Going around the corners in that thing, you could just feel how amazing the weight distribution is on it because you could feel next to no body roll. It just carved through the corners like butter. It just wanted to go. It was so ridiculously nice to drive. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about it. Let's go check out my lap. That's about it for today's vlog. I just wanted to say thank you once again to the guys at Mercedes for involving me. This was such a dream come true for me. I had so much fun. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribed. And I know that this car content is a little bit different to the family videos that I normally produce, but I really do appreciate you guys showing love and support because obviously when I'm not with my kids, when I'm not in dad mode, I still love chasing some of my own dreams. I think it's really important as a parent to still chase dreams and tick things off your bucket list. And this was a big bucket list uh, tick for me. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.